All right, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna uh, explain the equalizer. Um, uh, let me turn this again. Game sound down. Uh, I'm grinding my solos. Um, <clears throat> okay, so EA had filed for a patent. They spent millions of dollars for a patent on uh, what they call um, dynamic difficulty for artificial intelligence. All right, now. All right, how it works is, you know how you go out into the settings on on a on a mat or the FIFA, or the NHL, or whatever, and um, you can find the sliders that like make your blocking better, your quarterback more accurate, and all of that. Okay, the term that they use is knobs. All right, um, knobs is just another way of saying slider, um, as pertains to the equalizer. The equalizer is the code name for for the pattern. Hold on, this is. Okay, yeah, I was reading somebody's comment um, in a group. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's say um, you have a low overall. Like right now, a lot of people are at like that 88, 89 range. But people with the God Squads are like 92, you know what I mean? And, 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 and you know, 93 and all of that. All right, so you come out, you got like an 81 overall. All right, you're you're playing from way behind. All right, so you would expect to always lose when you're playing these teams that are at the like 88, 89 area. All right, so um, what EA is doing is they're making sure that a lot of things go your way with your lower overall to encourage you to keep on playing because most people that say they're team no money spent they actually have spent money and you can go out into um you go out into your playstation and and, and find that out like people can't do that live i've called people out and they couldn't they couldn't they couldn't show it because it's a services render it tells you if they bought points it's on saved on your playstation all right so um it's encouraging you to keep on trying to get your team better rather than giving up on the game altogether. Because you might jump into the game with an 81 overall. Everyone's way ahead of you. And if you're losing all of these games, you're going to be like, fuck this. And just go back to playing regulars or connect your franchise or something. So they leave you that glimmer of hope. Now... In the patents, when you read when you read all through it, I think it's a uh, file number six or something like that. They 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 um they break it down how uh, to to force the the force help in your direction. The other team will like drop balls, overthrow passes. There'll be fumbles that don't make no sense. You know, in my '92 Jerome Bettis was tear to a '93. It can get shoestring tackled and fumble the ball. And my guys is trying to recover and step over the ball. It's all type of weird, dumb stuff will happen like that. Um, Khalil Mack, who plays with discipline, will be jumping the snap, getting penalties all of a sudden. And supposedly, when you buy by traits and you get disciplined uh, players, they're not supposed to even be able to do that. But when the equalizer is in effect, you can trust and believe it's real. When you're playing against the computer, your team plays the way your team plays consistently because there's no knobs, there's no sliders. It's going to be consistent. Hold on. Sparking up. Um, let me see what this is say. Yeah, yeah, definitely algorithms all day. Well, in every every part of uh, gameplay. But, um... But that's what the equalizer is used for. The equalizer is used to 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 try to level things out. So what I'll do is like I'm I'll play in the weekend league, and I would go in with like like a 92 overall. Like I've sold some of my players, so now I'm down to an 89. Um, but I would get like around like game 17, and that's when I'll, I'll notice the equalizer will start kicking in like really heavy. It could pop up at any point, but when I start, when I sensed it popping up, I would drop my overall to like an 87, 88. I might lose that game, 
when the equalizer kicks in. But the next game, when I go with my lower overall, I'll, I'll, I'll face a god squad, and everything will, everything will happen my way. Like I've, like I went live in a group playing playing the one dude that had like a 93 overall. I think he sensed the equalizer, and I had a lower team, and everything went everything went in my favor. Like. Man, my defensive lineman could have broke on the ball and got a pick. It was just like weird stuff happening. Now, I went down the field. I scored on him with, with, with so much ease. And like it was like I'm watching his players uh, move out of their zones and stuff. Like they you know, was getting out my way and uh, missing tackles almost on purpose and stuff. Like that's, that's, just how, that's just how the equalizer works. Now, at the same time, in, in, in the patent, they had left a clever little wiggle space there for uh, like in-game purchases. All right, so like as you know, it seems like certain people tend to have pack luck. Now, um, and 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 their and their their pack luck, they might be pulling legends and and all of this. You know, they're pulling a uh, ninety-nine overall Jay Z. You know, but. It's it's their it's their their um it's their account that is that spiked. There's a certain number of accounts that are spiked that have that have good pulls, and they say in there somewhere somehow in 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 their wording that it's uh it's somewhat like based on uh how much time <clears throat> how much actual time the player puts into EA games. Not just Madden, but EA games. Um, so I don't know if 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 I should be thinking the person who plays a lot more should have the good pulls, or the person who doesn't play a lot should get the good pulls. It would make sense to me, based on the equalizer, that the uh, the guys who don't spend much time on the game, they should be the ones who would, who would be getting the good pulls to encourage them to keep trying to pull packs. And as people notice, when you when you pull packs using money, you do get better results. Um, and they don't hide that. It's all in the EA forums. The developer teams they they acknowledge that, you know. And I can't remember what developer is, but he the way he put it, he said you get what you pay for. You know what I mean, so they don't deny that. Just like they don't deny the equalizer. So it, it, whether or not it exists, it shouldn't even be a debate. Um, also, they have um, in there where there's X amount. It's a percentage. It's a percentage of people who have accounts that. Uh, all right. Let's say let's say there's a hundred thousand people who have played EA online games. Just use just the number a hundred thousand. So if they set it at, uh, let me see here. Point zero three percent of the people who played would have spiked accounts. That would be three thousand people out of that one hundred thousand that would have basically the equalizer working in their favor at all times. So let me see. So a lot of the uh. Here, I'm, I'm gonna show. I'm, I'm gonna show something in the. Um, how can I do this? Oh, I can't shit. Cause I'm streaming. I can't. Fuck. I can't, like I can put a screenshot up on it. Uh, all right. So when you when you look at the rank when you look at the rankings where people are ranked for uh, for head to head, you'll see um, a lot of the dudes at the top. They might actually have trash records, but. In there, in that top 100, you'll see some guys with their records are just phenomenal, and you might think, okay, well they're they're uh they're doing DC glitch, they're kicking people offline, they're IP booting, news flags. You can't IP boot on a PlayStation 4. And I mean, like I could I could I could explain how to DDoS all day right now. You just go on your PlayStation 3 and do it. But you can't do it on a 4. You're not IP booting on a 4. Um. Because all right, when when you send when you send that that uh when you when you when you terminate the service, which is what an IP boot is, you're you're 
sending something from your laptop or your computer to your router, telling your router that all right, when your PlayStation connected to your router, your PlayStation, I mean, you're playing when you're playing head to head, you're on what they call a pair to pair network. The other person, is, the other pair, you're telling your router that the other pair pair that's connected to your PlayStation is actually a virus. So the antivirus software that you have in your in, in, in your router is going to boot that other pair offline. It's not booting you offline. It's just going to kick them offline, which is why they get the loss. But if you do that on a PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 4 is set up in such a way that when you boot the other guy offline, it, it the PlayStation itself will boot you offline for doing so as its own antivirus thing. So that's why you can't you can't do that. So those guys, they're not DC glitching. They just have spiked accounts. All right. And that's part of that, that patent. And when EA made that patent, there was a lot of other companies that jumped on board and, and, and started, they just piggyback rather. Just like, that's what happens in a lot of industries. Um, just like <clears throat> sitting here looking at my PlayStation controller, we got the analog sticks, we got the buttons on the top, you know, the select start, everything about every controller for every video game system, basically, all started with Nintendo. Nintendo owns the patents for every aspect of the controller, so every time you buy a PlayStation, you buy an Xbox controller, Nintendo's getting a cut because they own the patents, they own the rights to the vibrating feature, all of that, so... That's what happened right there. So EA made big money, and that's why their stock shot through the roof. People like to say it's mutt. People like to say that it's uh, it's, it's uh, FIFA Ultimate Team is where they get their money. They're they're killing them off the patents. And if you was to call EA and tell them that you was thinking about investing in them, and that you wanted them to mail you a prospectus package, which is their breakdown, their explanation for every penny that they bring in, what they're doing with it. They're going to explain to you that patent and where their money is really coming from. They're going to explain that to you because they're going to want you to invest in them. You know, so they can throw their cook parties with your money. You know what I mean? Yeah, they get a lot of money out of Ultimate Team, but that's the gist of it, man. I'm out. That should do it.